Prepare to have your mind blown because today I'm going to show you the most awesome, realistic t-shirt mock-ups you've ever seen in Cricut Design Space. And if you stick around till the end of the video, I'm going to tell you how to get these mock-up files that I created for free. Let's get started. Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to use these awesome realistic t-shirt mockups in Design Space. And the cool thing is that you can use these with your desktop as well as your iPad version. So normally when you want to do a t-shirt mockup in Design Space, what you have to do is go to a website, find a t-shirt in the color that you want, download it, crop it, import it into Design Space, clean it up, save it, and finally place it on your page and then place your image on top of it. Man, that's a lot of steps. But let's say after all that, you didn't like the shirt color or it didn't go with your design. Well then, you have to go back to the internet, find another shirt in the new color you want. Then you have to download another file and repeat all the steps to get the new image into design space and onto your page. Wouldn't it be great if you could just change the color of the shirt right there in design space? Well, let me show you how to do it. So I'm gonna come over here to my layers and I'm gonna click this. I'm going to click that and you can see that there's something selected on my shirt with this little blue box. Then if I click this or if I click that or if I click here or maybe I could slide this bar up, move this little dot around and as you can see I can change the color of the shirt to anything that I want. That's pretty amazing, huh? You get a live preview of the color change, so you can pick whatever color you want. You want to see how it works? Well, okay. So as you can see, I have two layers in my layers menu here. We have the front layer, which is the shadow layer. We have the back layer, which is the color layer. And when we put those on top of each other, it makes our shirt. So if we come over to the layers menu and click on the blue part of the shirt, and we can just click any color that we want and change the color. You can also enter a hex code for the shirt color or you can just move these sliders around and fine tune it to the shirt color that you want. And after you change the color of your shirt, all you have to do is insert your logo, size it, and there you have your mock-up. And if you decide you want to change the color, you can just click back over here in the layers menu and change your color to any shirt color that you want. Oh, and like I said in the beginning, at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you how to download these images for free. But first, I'm going to show you how to install them into Design Space. So I'm just going to save this. I'm going to go to my Uploads. And I'm going to click on my Image Uploads. And over here, I have a folder where I have the images. The pink images here are the color change layers and these the uh, second and third images are the shadow layers middle row of shadow layers you can use with any color this third row of shadow layers is made to work with black so you'll have a lighter grayish shadow so it'll show up on a black shirt so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this SVG file so we're going to use this front one here this 3001 front drag and drop that here and we can tag that if you want mock up I'm gonna click Save and there it is right there now loading the SVG files this way will make these available on the desktop version and the iPad version but to install the shadow layers there's two different ways you can do it number one if you're only going to use these shadow layers on the desktop version of Design Space, you can use this first installation method. If you install them this way, the projects will not open on the iPad version because the iPad version of Design Space cannot open a project that has a pattern applied to it. The pattern feature is only available on the desktop version currently. Hopefully in the future, the iPad version will be able to open projects that have patterns in them, but currently you cannot. Number two, if you install the shadow layers this second way, you will be able to use them on both your desktop and iPad version of Design Space. But for some reason, 
you'll have to install the shadow layers using the iPad version because they will not upload as images on the desktop version. So if I go to upload image and I grab my shadow layer and drop it there, since it's shades of gray, I'm going to click complex. And I've tried these different settings, but none of them seem to work. So when I click that, I'm going to click continue. And you can see here that everything looks fine. I'm going to click continue. And you can see here, I can save it as a print then cut image and it looks fine. And when I hit save, I get an error message saying that it wasn't able to save my file. So I don't know what the problem is with that. So the easiest thing to do if you're going to use the second method to install them so you can use them on your desktop and iPad version is to install them through the iPad version. And the reason I'm showing you how to install these two different ways is because some people may not have an iPad and some people just simply like to work on their desktop version only. So I'm showing you two ways so that everybody can be able to use these files. Okay, so number one, installation for desktop use only. What we're going to do is click Upload Pattern. We're going to get our shadow layer. We uploaded this color layer, so we're going to upload this middle shadow layer. I'm going to drag it and drop it on here as a pattern. Save it, and you can see the pattern uploaded successfully. I'm also going to go ahead and install that one that I told you would work on a black shirt. This one here. I'm going to drag that over and drop it in. I'm going to save that one and it saved that one also. Okay, now that we have those installed, let me show you how to put them together on your page. So I'm going to click on the color layer, insert that onto my page. I'm just going to scale that up so we can see it real good. And you can see it has the cut line on it. So I'm just going to come over here. I'm just going to turn the cut line off on both the shirt and the tag. Just change both of those to print. And now what I want to do is click on that color layer. I'm going to come up here and duplicate it. And I'm, just, I'm going to go ahead and change the color of that so we can see it a little easier. And the tag on this layer, I'm just going to ungroup that. And I'm just going to click on the tag and delete it because we don't need the tag on this top layer anymore. So I'm going to click on this top layer, come over here, open up the layer attributes. And I'm going to click on patterns right here. And you'll see that our shadow layers are loaded here in the patterns. And you can see the one on the right says shadow one. The one on the left says shadow two BLK, meaning that's the one for a black shirt. So I'm going to use this one here since we're using a color shirt. And you'll see that loaded my shadow image. And you just want to make sure both of these are the same size. I'm just going to click that one and make it 15. I'm going to click on this one, make it 15. Now I'm going to select both of those, come up to align, center horizontally, align top, and there you have your shirt. You can see down here at the bottom, it's a little short, so just click that top layer, unlock the lock, just drag it down just a tiny bit just to get that to match up, lock it back, and we're good to go. So in order to change the color of the shirt, we just click on the color layer here, just change the color to whatever color you want. And also you can come in here and change this tag color anytime you want to. If you don't like the dark gray, or if you're going to use like a gray shirt, and you don't want the tag and the shirt to blend in together, you can just click on that tag and just lighten it up. So it's a little more white and it'll show up a little better. And the tag just gives it a more realistic look. Then when you have the color of your shirt set, you can just come to upload, grab your image, insert that, just resize it, put that on your shirt. And there you have it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this as video mockup. I'm just going to save that to my projects. Okay, now I'm going to show you the second way to install these shadow layers using your iPad. So I'm going to switch over to my iPad here. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is what happens when we try to open that file that we created. So we'll click that and you can see the preview. It looks fine. We click down here on customize and we get this error message, unable to open project. This project includes features not supported on this version of Design Space. So, like I said, if you have a pattern applied to something in your project, you will not be able to open it on your iPad. So, let me close that, go back to my canvas, 
I'm going to come down here to uploads and I'm going to click on open uploads and you can see I have my color layer there the pink layer all right so I'm just going to close out of that I'm going to go to uploads again and I'm going to go to browse files and I have these images saved to my Dropbox so I can upload them to my iPad easily. You could also save them in iCloud or Google Drive or whatever you want to use. So what I'm going to do is click on the 3001 front shadow one. I'm going to click that and it's going to open up and you can see the image there with the transparent background. I'm going to come up here to the top right of the screen and click next. And you can see that you can still see the image. It looks fine. I'm going to click next. And you can see on the left is the cut file. And the one on the right is the print then cut file. So we're going to make sure we choose that one. And then I'm just going to name this 3001 front shadow 1. And then I'm going to click done. And reload the page. And there's our shadow for that shirt. I'm going to click close. Go back to upload. Browse files again, and I'm going to select the front shadow 2BLK, which is for the black shirt. I'm going to click that. Got it there on our transparent background. Click next. That's fine. Click next. Make sure you choose the print then cut file on the right. 3001 front shadow 2BLK, and then I'm going to click done. So it'll load that. I'm just going to pull this down to refresh my screen. And there we have both of those. So let's do the one for the colored shirts first. We're going to click our color layer, click our shadow layer, insert. We can grab both of those, just scale those up. And let's make sure they're both the same size. So I'm going to come down to edit and the height. I'm just going to do 24. I'm going to click the shadow layer, height 24. And I'm going to click back on my color layer. I'm going to open up my layers palette. And I'm going to change the color layer to a print file instead of a cut file. Just so we can get rid of that black line around it. Alright, you see we have our color, we have our tag, we have our shadow layer. So I'm just going to select both of those. Come down to edit, to align. We're going to align center. And then we're going to align top. And there you go. We've got our t-shirt all set up. And again, we just click on that layer, the color layer, open up our color palette. You can just slide this, move that, just change it to whatever color you want. Again, you can put in a hex code and, uh, you know, just make the shirt whatever color you want. We can click on the tag, make the tag a little lighter. We can click on upload, open uploaded images. We can grab a logo, insert it, and we can just scale that down. We'll just do width like 10 so it'll fit on the page. Move it over here on our shirt. You can scale it however you want it. There you have your mock-up. If you want to make the shirt color a little darker, come back over to the shirt. Open up your color palette. Just adjust that, whatever color you want it to be. And there you have your mock-up all ready to go. So one more thing. Let me switch back to the desktop version. I was going to show you how to use the layer for the black shirt. So if we click on the color layer, change it to black, you'll see that the shadow layer completely disappears because it's black. So I created a shadow layer that's shades of gray so you can see the shadows in the shirt. So let's go back to that shadow layer. We'll go back to our patterns and we'll go to this one where it says shadow 2BLK. I'm going to click on that and it's going to load it in there. And you can kind of see a little bit of shadows, but what we're going to need to do is just lighten up this shirt a little bit. You can kind of see the shadows a little bit, but in order for them to show up better, just make a duplicate of that shadow layer, place it on top, and then they show up a little better. You can see the shadows a little better with a double layer on top. Okay, let me just move this over here for a second. We're going to go back to our uploads, and now you'll see those shadow layers that we loaded through the iPad are available here as well. So if we click on the shadow layer, click on the color layer, insert images, brings both of those in, and now we just need to click and resize them. So I'm just going to put 10 for the height on that one, 10 for the height on that one. Click my color layer, I'm going to change those to print instead of cut just to get rid of those black lines. Grab them both, align center horizontally, align top, 
and there we have it. So the shirt on the left is the one that's compatible with the iPad and the desktop version because we loaded the shadow layers through the iPad. The one on the right is the one that we did on the desktop only where we loaded the color layer and then loaded the shadow layer through the patterns. So whichever way you want to do this, you can do it. Just remember that if you load them the first way, it's not going to open on the iPad. If you load them through the iPad, they'll work on both the desktop and the iPad. So just keep that in mind when you're deciding how you want to install these. So I guess that's it. Let me know what you think about these mockups and, oh wait, yeah, I promised I'd show you how to get these mockup files, didn't I? Alright, so if you want to download these mockup files for free, please subscribe to my channel and join my Facebook group. This is where I will upload them and where you can download them. The link to my Facebook group is in the description below, so be sure and check that out. And lastly, if you want to learn how to make these mock-up files yourself, how to create the color layers, and how to create the shadow layers, I'll be making another video to show you how to make them so you can add other products to your design space like hoodies or onesies or you know whatever you want to do so be sure and subscribe so you'll be notified when i upload that video so now i guess that's about it i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments section below if you like this video please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel also make sure you click the little bell icon and turn on notifications so you'll know when new videos are available and if you want to follow me on social media all the links are in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you later. As soon as the air conditioner goes off, I can finish this. Uh, Blooper reel.